Hello, I'm Hold On to Glenn, a.k.a. Hellwater Fire. This is Hellwater News. Breaking news. Very breaking news. I'm telling you, I'm going to fucking just blow you fucking guys' minds away right now. On Hellwars for the 26th day of May, 2016, 6016, if you're a fucking marijuana Freemason, fuck fucking all the small entrepreneurs around and getting them busted and sneaking in under the fucking wire with your little liberal connections and scoring the score on Hell Wars. All right, you guys want proof? And now we're going to give it to you. I told you fuckers the government was in charge of the marijuana now. And the government have their own people growing the marijuana now. The Freemason fucks rub shoulders and then they get all the small timers busted. Now I just did a story all the Toronto. This is funny. It's breaking news this week like crazy. First, it's like they're busting uh, are, are creating all these new big giant companies. Like you see this fucking goof wearing the tweed shirt which just happens to be part of the Lyft Expo. Did you guys know that? The Lyft Expo this weekend in Toronto at the Convention Center is sponsored by Tweed. And who is Tweed? Well, they just happen to be a marijuana grow company sponsored by, you guessed it, the Liberal government. It's actually supported by the Liberal government. And we're going to prove that to you guys right now as this fucker who uh, is like the CEO of uh, the Liberal Party of Canada, is the owner of Tweed. Conflict of interest. Liberal CFO could rake in marijuana money with legislation. Ain't that funny. The Liberals legalize it, and this fucking fat fuck motherfucker you're looking at right now is the motherfucker gonna cash in. Well, the Toronto... Police are out on a fucking dragnet. This fucker can take pictures with his pot score. His cash crop. Meanwhile, everyone in Toronto who uh, has been helping cancer patients and people who need marijuana for pain relief and relaxation purposes, stress relief, whatever... Their suppliers, who had licenses, get busted now. But this motherfucker, Tweed, boycott Tweed. Everybody boycott Tweed. Don't even go to that Lyft Expo. Let this little fucker go bankrupt. Seriously. This is the biggest fucking charade of bullshit I've ever seen in my fucking life. It's breaking news. Let, here, I'll read it to you. He may volunteer his role as chief financial officer with the Liberal Party of Canada, but Chuck Rafisi is in line for a big payday thanks to one of the party's key platforms. Oh, yes, he is. Isn't that a conflict of interest? You work for the Liberal Party in fucking Canada and you're going to score the contracts? You fucking little fucker. You can't work for the fucking government and scored a contract you fucking thief punch in the face Rafisi who has been a member of the Liberal National Board of Directors since 2011 is also the co-founder of Tweed Marijuana Inc Canada's biggest full scale producer and government sanctioned pop producer which is based in Smith Falls Ontario Breaking news. Howard breaks it open. There's the breaking news. No one wants to break this news. Okay, Howard's just did it. Meanwhile, all the little pot shops are now starting to get busted. What the fuck is going on here? A total conflict of interest is going on here. A total Freemason fuck is going on here. A big giant double barrel fuck around this is a total conflict of fucking interest you can't work for the fucking party even though you're so you say just volunteering and get a government contract you fucking scamming fuck <sighs> 
breaking news, people. There it is. There's your little culprit. There's your little fuckhead, Tweed. And if you're supporting this company, man, you... Oh, fuck. <sighs> boycott Tweed. Boycott all Tweed products. Boycott the Lyft Expo. Turn your back on these fuckers. Hell War News. Tell me how it is. I'm out of here.